And hello everybody, welcome back to our open form discussion. And so we are looking at uh, our pipe, uh, thin pipe flow snappy hack smash file. And of course, uh, there are some changes we want to add to GitHub. So I'm going to do that before we start changing things around. So let's do git add. Okay. And git commit. And with the message, added topo set dictionary. Okay, so git push origin master. And I'll just type in my git stuff. And yep, we are uploading some of these uh, things on GitHub and it is now updated. So what is next? Remember in the last video, we we're talking about creating negatives. So initially we have this pipe, uh, pipe thingy already. Okay. And then uh, this is the surface, the surface version. And then we have uh, the surface plus internal selected by box. Hope you remember all these things from the last video. I kind of deleted the paint file already. So this is the box that we select to create the negative for this disk. So after subtracting, we get just a disk. That's one. Now, secondly, we also want the disk for the right hand side. So, again, we can use the same surface, but this time we create a different negative. We create a negative, a different negative for the right hand side this time. So, that will be the second one. Now, with that, we can finally do our third bit. Okay, so we kind of plan it like this. Uh, I kind of plan it like this. Um, yeah, and the third negative, uh, the third thing, the third surface I want is just this middle bit, where is the curved part of the wall. Okay, so this is the curved part of the wall. Okay, so it's the curvy bit, which is just this outside. All right, so what's the negative that we need? So if you want this, just the outside curvy part, you'll need, again, the surface file. And then we need two negatives. One is the right-hand side. And then one is the left-hand side. So we kind of need to subtract these two things. So that is the thought process behind it. Now putting it in an open form, how do we do it? So let's see what negatives we need to make. Okay, so we will need to make this negative, this negative, and then uh, these two sides will come out as a result. Okay. And once these two sides can come out, uh, these two actually become the negatives for the third one. Okay, so we only need to make two negatives. This uh, box here and this box here so that we can do some subtracting uh, process. How does it play out in the topo set dict? Here is how we do it. Topo set, okay. Okay, should go snappy pipe first. VI system topo set dict okay so now we only have one right one cylinder okay so instead of just a patch to face we will need something else as well so i'm going to make two entries one and two so the first thing is going to be called a well, what, what shall we call this? Okay, what shall we call this? This will be the 
uh, inlet or left disk or left patch negative right that's the left patch negative that we make and then the other one we can call the right right patch negative right patch negative all right so i'm gonna save so let's look in uh some things let's say topo set open form wiki so this will tell us you know how can we do it so okay let's take a look for example we have uh, we have something like this okay name is selected cells or whatnot well this one is called box to cell but we want a box to face so we have a type which is face set in our case action is new meaning to say you want to make a new shape and you have a source info that says box something 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 so these are the minimum x y and z coordinates of the first uh, of the box and these are the maximum x y z coordinates of the same set box and um, we should type in like this source info actually with the patch to face we can also use the same source info uh, yeah we can use the same uh, source info uh, so that's more consistent so let's let's type it uh, nicer so it's more consistent and it's more clear source info uh, what does this say? Oopsie. So name, name, cylinder, semicolon. And this, we can just press a delete button. And we write it in. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste it here. Two, three, four. Paste. So write it in, and then last one as well. Delete. Okay, undo by pressing colon and U. Okay, so brilliant. And write it in. So what's the source info? We don't want a patch to face anymore. We want a box to face. So let's do a box to face. All right. Let me write it in. So now, uh, so to help us, we just do a simple para view to see what the uh, where we should actually place our box. Okay, so so we don't have to like you know try and abstract things, try to try and imagine what the thing is like. Always good to see diagrams. So go up and pipe flow. I hope this is the right one. Should be very thin. Oh wrong one. Let me take a look at the other one then. This is not a thin pipe flow, yes. Snappy pipe, snappy pipe flow. All right. Okay, so I'm going to add access to it by clicking this data access grid. That will do it. All right. So remember the x and y. Uh, this is a this is a, this is a cylinder parallel to the z axis, so it's going kind of vertically. Okay. So maybe we shouldn't name it left and right patch. We should make it top and bottom. So first I'll make the bottom patch negative and then I'll make the top match negative, right? This is a better name to avoid confusion. 
So what is this source info? What should it look like? We look at open phone wiki, it says a box with x0, y0, z0, x1, y1, z1. So this is what I'm going to copy and paste in. So I'm going to delete and I'm going to insert and delete the semicolon. So what is the what is the minimum x coordinate? Right? We just want the disk, right? So we just want the, the bottom disk. Yeah, we just want the bottom disk. Okay, so we look at the x, it's actually going from minus 0 0.5. Oh, this one. Ah, okay, so it's symmetric, all right? It's a, it's a circle, so it goes from minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. So the x coordinate size, so we should do minus 0 0.5, or if you want to be more uh, particular, you can do minus 0 0.6. Okay, and the y0. The minimum is minus 0 0.6 as well. Oh, this should be a minus here. So you see what I'm doing? I'm looking at the x and y uh, axis and I'm trying to draw a box that's slightly bigger than this uh, whole circle. So it's from minus 0 0.6 to 0 0.6 on the y and 0 0.6 to 0 0.6 on the x. That will give us the box we want, at least the, the square shape. And then now, um, we want to look at uh, this, uh, how can we make a box that will eat up, will encompass the whole thing except this bottom disk here. Now this uh, Z coordinate is just at zero. That's how we made our cylinder file. But uh, we can't put it at zero exactly. Maybe we need to put it a little more than zero. Maybe you put it at 0 0.01 and then it goes all the way up to 40 something. So we can just make the maximum Z coordinate 41. Okay. All right. So I'm going to continue in the next video because it's already 12 minutes. So I'm going to make it too long. So see you in the next video. We're going to continue this discussion. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.